What's up? It is Saturday and um, you know, I thought since everybody, I guess, is fasting, you guys are going to be staying at home and just probably checking out Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever. But um, yeah, I just thought um, I'd share this because our brand new track, Goodbye Good Night, featuring Vinish from Trophy Knives, is out already. So I hope you guys have heard it. It's definitely something very, very different from what we've done before. There's um, a lot more guitar work, a lot more, um, you know, solos, I guess, a lot more licks. And at the same time, there's screaming as well. It's, you know, something that we haven't had for a long time. So, you know, with all these new songs, we've gotten a lot darker. Um, you know, just exploring themes of, you know, I guess, pain and hurt and, um, you know, dissatisfaction, you know, in a, in a friendship or relationship. Uh, or feeling like, you know, you're investing time into the wrong places. So that's kind of like what the the song is about, you know, saying goodbye, good night, you know, enough. I've had enough. Just get out of my life. So that's kind of what it is. So, um, yeah, so I figured we needed some really good screams and Vinish from Trophy Knives is obviously an amazing singer. And I figured, you know, why don't I ask him? And he said yes. And when we got into the studio, you know, he nailed it and it was super tight. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to live stream um, the session. I thought it'd be cool to just share what went on behind the scenes. So let me just bring that out for you guys. All right. Let's see. This is where we're at. Okay, window capture. Got it. Alright, so if you guys can see, this is the uh, session. So I'm going to play a little bit of the... So I've broken it down into sections. Intro, verse, you know, chorus and all that. So it's a very simple song. It's basically chorus, verse, chorus, verse... Uh, bridge, chorus, you know, that kind of arrangement. So it's very, very pop, very simple. So I'll just play a little bit of the intro right here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's that's the intro of the song. So I figured, you know, I'd kick off with with a really nice, you know, intro lick, and then going into the chorus that we'd hit the verse. I mean, like we'd hit like lyrics almost immediately, rather than to have like this whole you know not like big guitar solo with no vocals. So I thought, you know, we'd start like the singing immediately. So I wrote it in mind with with the idea of okay we're going to get people to sing right away. So yeah, that's that's um kind of what it is, but let's just go through the drums, okay? So how I started off with this was um I started writing with the drums first and um you know, I had this idea that I've been listening to a lot of Polyphia. So, you know, I figured, okay, you know, let's try something like that. So, with the drums, I wrote it on Easy Drummer. And, um, you know, I just worked off patches and um, MIDI patterns that are already there. And then from there, I manipulated them. And this was what I came up with. So yeah, I I think like it sounds really good, you know, it sounds very real. And um 
we didn't even go to the studio to record. So this was actually a DW kit on Easy Drummer 2, like the main, um, I guess the main package itself. So, but I switched it to drum kit from hell, replaced the shells with the DW from the main one, and the cymbals are all Sabians, because we've been using Sabians for like a long time, and I'm very familiar with the sound, and I like that sound. So yeah, um, came up with the patterns, and then let's look at this. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so over here in the verse, so I put a filtered drum uh, loop. So it's actually a full-on pattern, but I put a filter. So I use the waves um, filter on it. So you can hear that there are still like symbols on there, but because of the filter, you know, so it's not as clear. Comes back in. Yeah. So, you know, I figured like in this part, you know, I'd have like, you know, a 16 like note kind of beat. Yeah, so, you know, this is more like an old school roll kind of vibe. Yeah, so with this song as well, like on the drums, the focus is a lot on the snare, especially this beat. Yeah, the snare, right? So, yeah, then, um, you know, I also put in like a tiny little interlude here. So when it jumps into the chorus, it jumps in big. Yeah, so that role is something that we've not done before. You know, I figured let's do something really fast. Let's do something a little bit different. So, you know, slap that in there. So, yeah. So, Ian, our drummer, is no longer with us. You know, he's uh, decided to move on from the band. But we've got a brand new drummer now. His name is Eugene. So, he's nailing it pretty good. So, this is, um, you know, quite a breath of fresh air as well. You know, something uh, a little bit different. Yeah. So, and then when we get into the second verse, um, there's like a little... So, a lot of the drum parts, you know, there are tiny little parts to it, um, you know, that make it really special. So, let's look at this last bar before getting into the second verse. Yeah. So, I'll play two bars. Yeah, so it goes into like a tiny little halftime beat. And then, it goes into a tom fill here. Yeah. So this kind of beat is also, you know, very churchy, I guess, you know, like a lot of, um, you know, like church music would use this beat a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, so this next part is quite interesting. It's actually a 5-4 because, um, you know, the beat ends slightly earlier and then there's like one more count here one so basically it's here one, two, three, four, five, one. yeah so then when i'm like creating like the backing tracks you know it messes things up a little bit because then i would have to align things you know like a bar after but it's all good you know it's all been done it's all been aligned so we played it uh, last Saturday at Northern Music Festival, so that was fun. Yeah. So then it gets into the solo. The solo, um, I quite like the beat in the in the solo as well. So it's a halftime.
Yeah, that that beat is also one of my favorites. Uh, it's a triplet roll. Yeah. Kind of. It's kind of like a triplet roll. So I watched it on YouTube, and um, you know, I was just watching, learning like linear grooves, and this was one of like the basic like linear grooves. It's, I don't think it's a triplet groove per se, but it sounds like a triplet groove. Yeah, um, it's complicated, but yeah. So yeah. So with this, um, you know, the hi hat on that program drum loop is, um, you know, panning left and right. So just to create like motion and space. Yeah, so it get back, gets back into the last chorus. And then let's see what we have here at the top. Yeah, that big roll again. Yeah, so moving on to bass. Um, so when I was writing the demo, I just wrote like synth bass parts and uh, we decided to keep it. So Sunny put on like, you know, like a killer bass line on, on top of it. But let's look at, let's listen to it. Yeah. Yeah, so the bass synth. Yeah, so basically it's just following the chords, uh, following the notes. Uh, I think it's just one note and then I put like a tremolo thing on it, you know, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, so there's that like pump. But at the same time, my favorite part about this bass line is Sunny's bass lick. Because there's a bit of slapping and popping and you know and picking at the same time. So there's just a lot of things going on. So let's let's I'll just mute the synth bass. Yeah. So you know, that's kind of like the chorus lick. Yeah. So now it gets into the verse. Let's uh, listen to it. Yeah, so it's a bit of a tapping lick. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's a tapping lick, but it's a, it's a, you know, it's a chord, and he picks it. Yeah, so just locking in with the drums with this. Yeah, so there's that bass lick as well. So kind of like following, you know, that tom feel. And there's a guitar lick that goes with it too. Um, but let's jump to the solo because the solo is actually my favourite part. Um, right here. Yeah, so that's my favorite part because then there's a guitar solo too. So I'll just play that as well um, without the rhythm guitars. Okay, maybe I'll just play the rhythm guitars too. Okay, rhythm guitars and there's like a clean guitar section too. So let's just go to the solo and I'm focusing on the bass. I'll just pump it up. It's going to be real loud. <laughs>
Yeah. So that is the bass solo. But since we're on the solo, let's just talk about it. I wanted something a little bit different and um, I figured let's try using an octave up and an octave down. So that's that's what happened with the the guitar lick. So this is how it sounds like. Yeah, so I used the quintessence, the TC quintessence, and uh, I went to the tone print and I edited it, and that was kind of what I did. So it was a an octave up, the original, and an octave down. And then over here, let's see what Thomas is doing. So on the rhythm, okay, rhythm. So I live, I would play the the lead line, and Thomas would switch uh, to the rhythm. Yeah, um, and then there's also a clean line here too, so which I quite like. It's kind of like a tiny little gem. Yeah, it, and it's also panned only to one side. So let me just bring up. Yeah, so there's just a bunch of things happening, you know, three guitar lines, which is the lead, the rhythm, and that uh, clean lick, and then the bass line, uh, the bass solo, and the drums as well. So just a bunch of things. Like, it's a really busy song. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's move back to now the intro. So there's this section where... It's an 80 sounding loop or not not so much loop, but it's a beat that I created using Logic's uh, drummer. So from all the main drums, it's easy drummer, but Logic's drummer, you know, has this um, 80s pop disco like preset. So I use that. Yeah. So it's, it sounds kind of cool. And then I put a filter on, on the intro guitars as well. So then, you know, when it builds up, you know, it, it has that kind of like, um, like riser vibe to it. So when it hits, the chorus is just harder. Goodbye. Yeah. So that lick, it, so this song kind of like started with that, with that lead guitar line. And then it just, you know, developed into, into this whole thing. So I quite like it because, you know, it's something different. So let's check it out. Uh, and there's a variation after the, the solo section. So this is the, the usual section. Yeah, so it's not perfect, but, you know, when you hear it in context, you know, it all sounds good. And I think, you know, that's the beauty about playing uh, in a band. You know, it doesn't always have to sound perfect because if it's too perfect, then it's just stale. So, yeah. Now let's check out the lead line. It's similar, but with a tiny little variation. So, as a guitarist, I feel that with this song, you know, it's a little bit challenging. And I'm also challenging myself as a guitarist to just get better at it as well. So let's check it out. So yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So again, you know, when it's in context, you know, it doesn't sound so choppy. Um, of course, when you solo it, then, then it does sound choppy. Um, but yeah, overall, this song is really made up of those licks first. 
right? The guitar licks, um, the solo. In fact, the solo was just a doodle that I did. Um, you know, just to put everything in context. And then we felt like, okay, you know, it sounds pretty all right. So we'll just leave it there. And um, I re-recorded it when we got to the studio. So what the process was for me was to write everything at home, record demo vocals, and then go to JD, re-record bass, guitars, and vocals. So with the synth parts, the loops, um, and the drums, they were all done at home. And I sent them uh, to JD to be mixed and to be put into the session for our actual recording session of the bass, guitars, and the vocals. All right, so as usual, guitars were recorded using an orange. And uh, if you can see, you know, a bunch of oranges here. There's a bunch of oranges there as well. And um, yeah, okay, cool. I think we have covered like the music section. Now let's look at the vocals. All right, I quite like the vocals uh, with what we've done. Yeah, so let's just highlight that. And, yep. So there's a bit of, uh, so there's the lead line, um, obviously, as usual, double. And, um, you know, the backing vocals as well. And then we've got like a bit of gang vocals too. So let me just put it in a group. Okay, got it. So... I'll just play it. Just the vocals. Goodbye, good night. I won't wait another lifetime to hear you say that you'll try. Goodbye, good night. No, this is the last time I'm giving into your lies. Yeah, so with the backing vocals, you know, obviously it's a lot wider um, to the sides. But my favorite part is actually this. Let's check it out. Let's see. Okay. Need to mute them. The group vocals, usually, you know, we do it like five, six of us. But this time, I think it was just myself and Thomas. And we layered it with, like, you know, a, a ton of times. So let's check it out. Yeah. So you can hear a lot of me and a lot of Thomas as well, but it's just the both Goodbye, of us. Yeah, so we had to do like different voices, like higher, lower, mid, you know, and a really high one as well. So yeah, that, that was kind of uh, how we did it. And then let's bring in the, the, the backing vocals and the lead vocals. Okay, let's... Yeah, so even with the vocals, you know, we we didn't super tune them as well. You know, it was tuned enough, you know, to get everything in context. But, you know, like JD's approach to mixing is always, you know, everything in context. You know, it doesn't have to be mixed like in solo. And, no, and usually most engineers wouldn't do that either. So, you know, we didn't tune it to like absolute perfection, you know. So you can hear like kind of like a little wobble here and there. Um, but when it's in context with the harmonies, the guitars, the screams, you know, so it all gels very well together. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with this because initially, like, I didn't think that there would be harmonies. But, you know, it felt like, okay, you know, I think we, it felt right to have the harmonies there. But my favorite part of all are the screams. So let's listen to Vinicius' screams. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so we've got a bit of delay and reverb in there as well. Goodbye, good night. Yeah, so so intense, so intense, and but so so good. So yeah, let's let's get into the verse as well. Um, so with the verse, I did a lot of um, you know, like we manipulated the vocals a lot. You know, we had the the low octaves as the the repeats. So I think they are here. Yeah. So let's listen to this section. Um, that effect part, that glitchy part. So I used uh, a glitch um, plugin and 
you know, it's it's just a lot of messing around and then after messing around for a bit and then I got this. Giving into your lies. Let's just bring it up again. Okay, here. Your lies. Yeah, so that's like... Okay, let's let's just listen to it solo and you can hear what it is exactly. Yeah, so there's like a tiny little riser as well that I chopped up. Let's Lies. Yeah, there's just a bunch of things going on, you know. There's like a delayed vocals uh, section and then, you know, the glitch and like a riser. So yeah, okay. Now let's just go and listen to the verse. Okay. Not coming back again, I just can't do this anymore. I've heard it all before. Yeah, so I, I really like, you know, that low octave thing. You know, for some reason, you know, it, it feels very robotic. But at the same time, you know, it creates a different dimension. More. I've heard it all before. Face it on the floor. I'm tired of keeping score. I can take this no more. When I get close. Yeah, that's like a riser symbol there too. Uh, which is something that I learned um, from listening to a lot of heavy bands. You know, they always have like additional, um, you know, sounds like that. When I get close, you push me away. Say you die for me, babe. Die for me, honey. Gotta give me a reason. A reason to stay. I've heard it. Yeah, I really like this um, backing vocal part. So, obviously, it's a very high part for me to sing. So, I did a falsetto instead. I've heard it all before. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that little like delay throw as well. You know, panning from left and right. Yeah, so then moving into the second verse, this is where, uh, you know, Vinicius' screams are absolutely insane. Stop telling me things I don't want to hear. Stop telling me things I don't want to hear. So I'm tapping out now, I'm making it clear. Tapping out now, making it clear. Gonna move right on without you here. Without you here. This is the end. Goodbye. Yeah, so, you know, just tons of delay you know so that's like my the clean sing clean sung vocals and then the delayed repeats and then the screams you know so weaving in and out you know so it's kind of like a an auditory um you know experience i guess wanna hear. Stop me things I don't wanna hear. so i'm tapping out now i'm making it clear tapping out now making it clear gonna move right on without you here without you here this is the end. Yeah, so that impact sound right there, that there is a reason why I kept it there. It's because it's together to give it, you know, this bang uh, just before going into the chorus. And then in the chorus, it hits again. So... Yeah, so chorus wise, um, apart from that intro guitar lick, so Thomas really did some crazy stuff on here. So this is the the second verse. All right, so I'll just play all these things. Mm, okay, I'll just leave the lead vocals on. Stop telling me things I don't want to hear. Yeah, so there's this tapping thing that um, Thomas did and um, I think the clean guitars were played by me. So they're just pick notes. So a lot of ninth chords. Mm. 
Yeah. So then there's that section where um that fast lick. Yeah, that's done by me. Um but live Thomas would play it. Yeah, and then there's this like super fast lead line as well by Thomas. Yeah, that sound. That sound, that's a harmonic. Yeah, so with that, um, it was basically a harmonic lick and then we we used a whammy on it as well. So that's why you can hear that. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, so, you know, that is essentially goodbye, good night. And um, one of the things I wanted to highlight is the crazy guitar licks that we have and all these, like, additional sounds. And if you're in a rock band, you know, if you're playing live, the guys in SOG Patriots, they have a lot of this. And, um, you know, we've kind of, like, picked up from, from all our friends who are in heavier bands, and we've got all these like impact sounds as well. So you know you might consider putting this, you know, in your uh, backing tracks in the future, right? Um, Crazy Grizzly is one of them too. So let's check it out. So there's this reverse cymbal and a bass drop, and then this is that. Lies. And then what is this? Yeah. So like the cymbal wash. What do we have here? So that impact hit from the chorus, and then chorus out. Yeah. So and then this is like another reverse thing. Yeah. Yep. So just tons of that kind of sounds, you know. Last one. Yeah, so last one is just a bass drop. Yep, so, you know, in context, always remember that everything should be in context. And, um... Yeah, the last thing is this tiny uh, funk loop. Where is it? Okay, it's in the second verse. Yeah, it's not super loud. I'll just bring it up. So it's kind of like fading in, and I uh, will put a wah on it as well. And then it's moving from left to right. Okay, I'll show it to you again. So it's, you see, it's moving from left. To right. Yep. So yeah, man. With all these songs, I mean, like with all these parts that we put in, um, you know, it's just a tiny little experiment as well, and for us to just try new things. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys, you know, have enjoyed that whole session. It is um obviously. Something different from what we've done before. So if you guys like the track, you know, please go and stream it. And um, yeah, feel free to to share it. And, and if you want to cover it, please, by all means, do a cover. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, you know, um, do a cover challenge or like a guitar solo challenge. So, but yeah, I just wanted to conclude this uh, live stream. Um, whoever that tuned in, you know, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I can't see like the Facebook page because I am on the OBS screen. But uh, yeah, um, let's see. Okay. All right, a bunch. Okay, just four of you. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, so yeah, the brand new song is called Goodbye, Goodnight. It's out on all your streaming platforms. Um, you know, stream on Spotify, iTunes, or Apple Music, or wherever it may be. And um, by all means, um, thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate it. And um, hopefully this has been beneficial for you guys. And, you know, gives you a little bit of an insight of how the song came about and what we did to produce this track. So, mad props to JD for um, mixing this track. He's always been a great um, engineer and a great friend and a great, like, um, teacher as well. 
So always just, you know, showing us how to do stuff and exploring new things with us. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Darren from the band and Honest Mistake. And um, hopefully in the months to come, we'll have a couple of new songs. And um, our next big show is on the 29th of April at City Raw's Festival. So if you guys can, go and get the tickets because it's 118 ringgit for a two-day festival with international and regional acts. We've got Last Dinosaurs. Um, couple, we've got Hormone Boys. Last Dinosaurs from Australia. Hormone Boys from Taiwan. And there's another Taiwanese act, uh, Haru Nemuri or Hiro Nemuri. Uh, this is Japanese artist, which is amazing as well. And then we've got Isyana Sarasvati from Indonesia as well. So, you know, tons of all these like regional, big regional names and local acts are playing so go and get your tickets. Of course, we've got a lot of local artists as well. Danny Kumari is one of them. Definitely an artist to look out for. And um, my band's playing too. So I will see you guys at the show on the 29th of April. So it's going to be fun. Alright, so take care. And have a great weekend. <laughs>